Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. I hope you're all still doing well. Um, I know the lockdown restriction has been lifted here in my country at least, so um, I'm hoping you're all safe at home and still automating as much as you can. Now, for today, today's video, we're going to go in and see if we can set up some animated backgrounds for our Home Assistant installation. So I know a lot of you want that tablet mounted look and have it look all nice and pretty for everyone to see. I'm not really big into that. Um, I feel like if we set up your Home Assistant correctly, you don't really need to have a control panel. But for this video, let's just go in. I'll show you guys how to set up a animated background uh, that will flip through depending on the weather state. One more thing to keep in mind is this is going to depend if you have already installed the Hacks Community uh, store and then also you need to have custom themes listed in there as well. So I'll guide you through the process. I do have two videos on there already. The Hacks one may be a bit outdated, but it still has all the steps are the same. The only difference is going to be the actual interface. It's looking a bit different than it used to. But with that said, let's go in and take a look. So there we go. This is my current Home Assistant installation. So as you can see, it already has the theme installed and has that animated background. So I'm just giving you guys an idea of how it's going to look once we are finished. Um, I did use a different theme in here. So it looks a bit different. We'll cover that as well. I did cover this in a previous video. As I've said, this may depend on you guys also already having hacks installed and having that custom themes option enabled in your Home Assistant installation. With this video, I'm going to use a different installation of Home Assistant. I'm just showing you guys the end result right here. If I do update this or refresh the page, it should change every once in a while, depending on the weather, and um, it has a couple of videos in there. I'll show you guys how we can modify and edit all that. This is a fairly straightforward setup once we have the basics set up already. So let's go in and quickly take a look at setting up it in a different installation. So right here is a totally different installation. I just added a bunch of my own sensors in here that I already had, it was just easy adding, but nothing specific was modified or edited on here. The only thing I did was add the Hacks Community Store right here. As I've said, I do have a video covering the installation of this. The only difference is the, the all the steps would be exactly the same. The only difference is the interface of the store looks a bit different than the one we currently have. So if we go in, I'm going to click on Hacks right here. And as you can see, it does show us all the options that we have. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is click on the front end. Remember that's a front end um, option that we're going to edit. So we'll click on front end. And as you can see right now, it shows us we have no repositories. That's just That just means that it's a clean installation of Hacks. We don't have anything installed from the store already. So what I'll do in here is I'll click the plus sign right here and it's going to bring up a lot of options in here. Now the one that we're looking for is going to be the animated background one. We have a search option in here so we could type in animated and then we have it right here. Lovelace animated background. So what we'll do from here is just click on that. It's going to load the information of this add-on. And then once it has loaded, we'll see we have an option to hit install repository in Hacks. Now, as I've said, Hacks is constantly changing. So um, it, by the time you see this video, it may be a bit different but the installation process is usually the same. So most of the steps should be fairly the same. So as you can see, it does show us and it tells us exactly how to install this information. However, by now, the way everything's integrated, everything works already pre-built. So the only thing we actually do in here is just hit the option that says install this repository in Hacks. It's going to go ahead and ask us if we want to, uh, which version we would like to install. We can just click on install right here and that's going to install this repository for us and I'll get back to you as soon as it has installed. 
There we go. So that went in and installed that repository for us. Now, obviously, there's still a bit of a config that we need to do on our end before we can have everything set up the way we want it to. So once we're ready, we can go in and just click on this Lovelace animated background because we still need to configure it and set everything up. So the first thing that we need to do is if we go a bit down, you can see we have a couple of examples in here and then we also have installation method 2 that's for hacks this is the one that we're currently using so we'll need to follow the information they have in here so right here it tells us we need to add the resource to our configuration so previously this was in the raw configuration editor we had to do it for each and every single dashboard that's no longer the case it's fairly simple to do it right now in some cases this will add in the a resource by itself if you do install these repositories however it could also run into an issue somewhere and not add this in there so what I'm going to do is we can copy this right here so hacksfoss we just copy this exact location they have listed in here and make sure that it is in fact listed in our resources file to find it all we'll do is we can just close this back out again and go into the configuration right here then if we, if we go a bit down, you'll see we do have that option that says Lovelace Dashboards. We click on here, and as you can see, it shows us all the dashboards that we currently have. So we have the one dashboard here that's called Overview, which is just the main dashboard that we currently have. Now, as you can see, we have a tab right here that says shows resources, and that's where we need to add this information in. So if we click on resources right here, as you can see, it doesn't show that we have any resources listed. So we need to add this in here before that is going to be effective or start working in our in our Home Assistant installation. So to add a new one, right behind my camera, there's a little plus sign we can click on. It's going to bring us and ask us for a URL. So we just copied that specific URL, so we can just paste it in right here. And then JavaScript, yes, it is JavaScript, so we can just click on Create and that will add that resource to our Home Assistant installation. So that's it for this part. So now I can go back to Hacks and open up that installation guide again. So we just click on front ends, open up the animated background and just scroll a bit down where it gives us that example code. So we are now ready to use this information that they have supplied us. Now, I would recommend reading through these, checking, making sure that you know exactly how this works. So with the current setup, it's going to use that entity called weather.home. Now this is a default entity that comes with all of your installations of Home Assistant. And depending on the status of that entity, it's going to play a specific video file that we have here. Now, obviously this is pulling information from the internet to each and every client that accesses Home Assistant. And it's not something that's stored local. Nothing is stopping you from pointing this to a any URL you want. So you're not limited to just the videos that they have supplied in here. You can update this to local files on your Pi itself or anything that you would like to display as a background. You can even do a static one with just a single animated background and nothing else. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this information we have listed right here. So what we'll do is we'll just copy the first part. We do not want to copy anything below that because we are going to edit an existing um, an existing dashboard. So we don't need to include the title or the home or the views in here at all. We're going to close out here, go back to the overview section and then click on the three dots right here and set where it says edit dashboard and we'll click in here. Once we have the edit mode open, we still need to edit the raw config. So right here, if we click on that, those three dots again, you'll see that there is an option that says raw configuration editor we can click on. As you can see, it just gives us views, default view. Um, so that's just the basic dashboard configuration setup. So the way we add the animated backgrounds is right before views, we can just paste that code in there that was supplied in the example now obviously in the included users we need to modify this we can literally just delete this so it's not required in here this is if you have users that you need to have this displayed on if you don't want to use specific users so we can definitely delete the included users right here 
and that now it should be good to go on using this specific setup so entity it's going to depend on the weather home entity so we need to have that if you have removed that previously uh, you may need to add it back in or just modify the deconfig to just show us um, the videos depending on the state of that entity so currently we have sunny uh, partly cloudy cloudy so depending on the state of that entity it'll play any one of these videos so it'll randomize, it's not in a specific order or played in a different order, it'll randomize depending any of these videos we have, if it's sunny or if it's partly cloudy, it'll randomize between any of these videos we have in here. Once we have everything in here, just make sure that it did add it in correctly, I'm just going to hit enter right here and just fix that real quick because it needs to be set up like this, there we go. So once we're ready, we can just hit the save button right here. And as you can see, that did just update the information. So if I close the configuration editor right here, it should update. There we go. Now we have that background listed. So we have the animated background and it looks like everything is working like it should. We can go in and refresh this page. And there we go. As you can see, it did update. Now I know a lot of you are going to ask me, but it's not exactly the same as mine because mine were um, see-through, which that looks a bit different. To install this thing, I think this is the iOS dark mode. Let's click in here real quick. Yes, iOS dark mode is the specific theme that I used. So we can go in and set that up on the other installation as well if we want to. Click on front end, then click on the plus sign right behind the camera, then search for the iOS dark mode. And it's this one right here. So all I'll do is I'll just click on the name of that theme. As you can see, there we go, it's that has that transparent background. So all we'll do from here is just click on install this repository. Now, one thing you do need to keep in mind is that there is instructions on how to install this theme on that specific thing. So when installed, it does tell us that we need to add those in that information in here. So if we scroll a bit down, once, okay, that's finished installing, but it's still not going to work unless we manually add this to our configuration.yaml file. So we need to have this in our configuration file. So if we copy this out real quick, under front end, then we need to add in themes and just say include the themes folder. Because what's happening is if I go back to my profile, it's not going to allow me to edit this unless we manually add this to our file editor or our configuration.yaml file. So if I go in here, as you can see, we don't have that listed. So we have a few things that it includes, but it does not have that front end config in here. So we could just paste that in here. Uh, we may want to delete this first one in here and then just say include a dir uh, directory named themes and hit save. Now, obviously for this to be effective, we still need to restart Home Assistant as well. So once that has saved, no, I want to save it. I think I saved it save there we go and then once that has saved we'll need to restart our home assistant configuration or our home assistant installation so we'll just go back in here and then just restart home assistant real quick and that should allow us to now enable the option for installing custom themes and have that listed on here as well so just wait for home assistant to restart and then we can take a look there we go. So now Home Assistant went in and restarted. So the last thing we need to do is, you'll see that we still have the basic themes. It does show us the background, but we still want to modify that just so we have that um, clear backgrounds on here as well. So if we click on our profile, so keep in mind this is per user, you'll see we now have that option where it says learn about themes. We now have the option to change that and we have that iOS dark mode option selected right here. And as soon as I click on it, you can see it, it instantly uh, updated the theme and it looks a bit different. So if I click on overview now, 
you have that transparent background. Yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this one. I try to keep it as short as possible. I don't want to overwhelm you guys with a lot of information. Um, so we did cover the basics on getting it set up and having everything looking exactly the same as mine. So the next time we do a video and it looks a bit different, you'll know exactly how I did that as well. I know my videos aren't um, following a schedule at the moment. I'm trying to get out. Uh, as soon as I get some time, I usually try to make something and just add it to my Home Assistant installation. But as I do add them, I will put out some videos for you guys so you can take a look at that. As always, if you guys do have any questions, you can go in and comment down below and I'd be happy to answer or assist in any way I can. I may take a while to respond, but I will respond to your comments at some point at least. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your week and I'll see you again soon. Cheers.